another video welcome back to my channel welcome to whatever the case is today is sunday june 11th and it is peak week how exciting you guys how freaking exciting we're finally at the final stretch and i am so freaking excited um it is 10 54 now um i have our red tea eat my breakfast which was just chicken today because we cut out all whey protein um right now i am just cruising into the show uh we are not really like depleting anymore because we already depleted pretty hard so we're kind of maintaining that in between of being flat and then being full so we're in that that range um last week we played around with looks and we got to a look that we really liked. Um, so then we kind of just lowered down the food a little bit so we're not too full going into peak week. And so yeah, right now I'm maintaining at about 113.9. My food is sitting at over 3,000 calories right now, which is freaking crazy because my body is just maintaining this weight right now, um, which we're... Like, I wouldn't say we're flat, but we're not full. So, yeah, we're in that awkward in-between. Um, I'm eating, I think, 420 carb, 180 protein, and, like, 45, 50 fats. So, I'm chilling. Um, my whey protein and all my, like, pre-workouts were cut out today. So, we're really getting close. I want to preface that my peak week is not going to be... Um, very similar to other people's peak weeks just because my preps looked a little bit different I would say than the average prep because normally right now people would be depleting but my coach is not really depleting me because we already depleted super freaking hard um yeah he started filling me back out with food three weeks out um the lowest I weighed depleted on prep was 107 pounds which is wild because my fullest weight when we were playing around with looks was about 116 fasted. So that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll throw a picture of like flat versus full so you guys can kind of see that because uh, I think it's really cool to look at. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling over the moon excited. Uh, I don't have... I don't really have any sort of like, oh, I'm tired prep, you know, like I don't, like I said last video, I don't even really feel like I'm in prep, besides the fact that I'm like super lean, my strength's not the greatest still, but like in terms of hunger, I'm still hungry, but it's not how bad it was, so that is super good, um, yeah, I just can't wait for freaking show day. This is going to be a two-part vlog, so peak week part one, and then the second video will be the rest of my peak week leading into show day. Um, but yeah, uh, this morning, my check-ins were, I was 113.9. I've been the same weight for like four or five days, so yeah, we're just kind of maintaining. Maybe I'll throw a picture up here. I'll throw a picture up here in black and white, though, because we can't show the show day suit yet. Um, but yeah, this was the look this morning. Um, so I'm going to fold this laundry and probably eat and go to the gym. So I'm eating my meal, too, which is going to be my pre-workout meal today. Um, I'm going to work out earlier on in the day, um, but it's just ground turkey, 100 grams ground turkey, 380 grams of rice, 5 grams of coconut oil, and then it has Dijon mustard, and then right now he has me weighing out my salt, so it's like one eighth a teaspoon of salt, and then right now I have in the air fryer some 50 grams of asparagus, which I 
don't like asparagus at all. But um, right now, starting today, only vegetable I can have is 50 grams of asparagus four times a day. So we're air frying it. We're going to eat it. I mean, I could do no veggie at all, but I need that for my digestion. I still want to be, you know, going number two. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat this. I'm super hungry because my meal one has literally, it's just protein. So, like, it doesn't do anything to me. I'm always so hungry. But, oh, give myself a shoulder massage. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm working out back and biceps today. Um, so I just got home from my workout. I give it like a five out of ten. Just really not strong in the gym, and it's kind of like tedious. But usually I eat cream of rice with protein powder for this meal and almond butter. But I can't have protein powder, so I put my chicken on the cream of rice with almond butter and cinnamon. I'm excited to try this because I think it's going to be really good. But I just have to talk about rice. They're proteins, you guys. They're so fire. This is the gingerbread one. I only got to try this once. And then this is the jet puffed. And this one is my favorite. The cinnamon toast crunch. Oh my gosh, you guys. They taste so good. So good. The chocolate cookie blast is good too. I've had the vanilla peanut butter. Ugh. All of their flavors just hit. So, except for the moon pie. And the moon pie one, not very good, but I'm gonna try this on camera. See, I like chicken with rice with um, almond butter and cinnamon, so I don't see why I wouldn't like this, you know? There's no stevia on it, but I feel like it would still be pretty good. Let's see. It's pretty good. Yeah. I know, like a. Uh, Six out of ten. The cream of rice is just kind of bland, but it doesn't taste bad. Morning vlog. It's a crisp Monday. Um, we went for a nice walk this morning because uh, I'm not working at my other job this week, so still gotta get those steps in. Uh, we're going to the gym now. It's about a little twelve thirty. Set my check-ins this morning. My weight's up a little bit, but I look exactly the same. I think. We'll see what, what coach says. I don't think he's gonna change anything, personally. But I'm about to go hit some glutes. I said I was gonna record my workout yesterday, but I never did that. So maybe today will be the day that I'll record my workout. It's just when I'm at the gym, I don't really feel like stopping to record it and I'm getting lazy. We'll see, but we're hitting glutes today. Um, that's really all. Nothing really, this peak week's kind of lame, honestly. There's not really many updates going on yet, so. Yeah, we're gonna go hit some legs.
like a pound heavier, but I like how we're looking. I just think we're not really that, that full, obviously, which is just the point. Um, I'm going to TJ Maxx right now to get a suitcase for the show. show. Um, yeah, there's not really much updates with the pink week so far because it's like, it's not even really, I'm not really doing a normal pink so it's like kind of boring I feel like we're not at the interesting part yet but um, my legs are feeling pretty sore kind of inflamed but see that may have been my last leg workout for the, for the week I don't know yet though um, but right now yeah, we're going to TJ Maxx, Costco to get some stuff. I'll show you guys what we get. So, yesterday was my last leg day. Coach answered me. And then, so today, tomorrow, Thursday, I'm still doing 25 minutes of cardio, and they're all just upper body sessions for the rest of the week. Um, and then Friday's a rest day, of course. And then Saturday's show day. But we just went to Costco and TJ Maxx and Ulta. Um, oh, and my food was lower just a tad, a smidge today. My coconut oil was pretty much taken out and then my rice was lowered by like 20 grams each meal, so. But, so from Costco we got these. Um, they're like these microwavable white rice things. But I really like these because if you get the Bob's ones or the Ben's, whatever it is, it usually has like oil in it, which you don't want to do. I mean, it's fine nor for like normal people, I guess, but if you're doing like bodybuilding or whatever, you don't want the extra fats. So these are just literally rice, and we got two of those, um, just so that when we're at the hotels, um, it's easier to heat it up, then we'll probably bring some pre-made too. Just convenience. And then I got myself a suitcase. This one is super nice and pretty from TJ Maxx. It was only $70 and it's pretty big. And I just need a suitcase for the traveling we're doing coming up. Winky face. And I always borrow my mom's suitcase, so I thought it was time to get my own suitcase. And from Ulta. I got this stuff, but I honestly might return it. Um, it smells really good, and I have it in the dry shampoo form. It's a shine mist, but I don't know that I'm going to need that just because it's like, I don't know. It might make my hair look greasy. We'll see. And then I just got a, a heat protectant because I'm going to straighten my hair and such for sure. Day. Um, and then we just got like... Sweet potato, blueberries, and chicken, and you know, the usuals, asparagus, but look how cool. <laughs> Josh is looking at me. We got um, patio furniture. Look how cute. So we've been wanting patio furniture as like our final touch, because we got the dining room table, we've got our couch, obviously, and all the furniture. Oh, and I don't know if I showed this either. But we got a circle mirror. So, the place is complete. Because at our last apartment, we didn't have a dining room table. Because we just didn't have room. And we never bought patio furniture because we just never did. But now we got both. It's a little too hot outside, though, for the patio furniture right now. It's like 90 degrees out which is why we didn't go for our morning walk. But it's like hot. Florida heat in the summer is, it's hot. Um, but it'll be nice to sit out there at night or in the winter time. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's all I got. I was just really excited about this suitcase and the table outside. And yeah, just exciting things. And then, I think I already, yeah, I covered everything, but it's 154. Today I'm training shoulders and triceps. 
I think I'm gonna eat probably at like 2.30, 2.45 ish. Go to the gym. I need to clean this apartment. I just don't feel like it. I feel like it needs to be done. But I just don't feel like it. We'll see. We'll get her done. But yeah, that's my update. It's a Swiss brand suitcase too, if you're wondering. But yeah, if you're ever getting luggage, go to TJ Maxx because that was my first instinct because I always see it there and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool to get one. I don't travel a lot, but I'm traveling coming up, so I was like, I get it. Um, but yeah, I just like the design on it. It's black. I don't know. But this is usually $150 at like Target or something because I always look it up when I buy stuff from... TJ Maxx, because I get curious, and it's $150 usually, I got it for $70, so save your money, go to TJ Maxx, or Marshalls, I feel like Marshalls is kind of the same idea, but yeah. We're eating our pre-workout meal, it's an unfortunate day, my fats got taken out, so it's just sweet potato, and I can't have stevia, and cinnamon and chicken, but it's okay, it's still gonna be good, and then I'm gonna make some asparagus. I was shitting on the asparagus yesterday, saying it was it was gross and all this, but honestly, it's kind of fire in the air fryer. I'm telling you, anything in the air fryer is good. Like I haven't had anything bad in the air fryer. I will say that my pee has been a little stinky. Sorry, that's a little TMI, but yeah, it's, it's kind of gross. But we do what we got to do. So I'm gonna eat this big mountain. I just did all sweet potato instead of my usual half rice, half sweet potato. Um, so I'm gonna eat this and then go get them gains, shoulders and triceps today. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. We are three days out. Holy crap. This is just wild. Um, today I'm getting my nails done, my eyebrows done, my toes done. We're just cheating ourselves today, um, but I decided I'm going to do a little suit reveal for you guys, so ready? How freaking pretty, you guys. So I went with a indigo-ish blue color, if you can see, and I absolutely love it. Oops. Zooming in on my tits. I think it goes very good with my hair. And yeah, I just, I love it. See you guys, little mirror. Um, but yeah, I've been sending my check-ins in my suit every day. I haven't checked my weight yet, but I took all the pictures and stuff. Um, I'm gonna do some posing practice and then we'll see what coach says, but I am just over the moon. I love my suit. I'm super excited for show. I'm a little nervous, but you know, you gotta be a little nervous. That's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I gotta clean this kitchen. Um, but yeah, I'm just overall feeling really proud of myself. I'm really excited um, because even before this prep started, I have been wanting to compete, like, for, like, a while. Um, I did two off-seasons before, did a mock prep, which was supposed to be an actual prep, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, today's my second to last training and cardio day, so I'm just really making the most out of it, pushing myself, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I just... I'm seriously so freaking excited. Like, I'm going into this show already feeling so confident and just like, like I know I did everything in my power, off season, on season, prep, whatever, to bring my best and do my best. So it's a really great feeling there. But I'm gonna get my day rolling. It's about 8 o'clock. I woke up at like 6.40, so that's super cool, but yeah, here we go, you guys. So, oh, this lighting's shit. 
So, um, I, from yesterday, yesterday it was like 115.5, today I am 114.8, which was the goal because uh, my coach wants me to be flat, um, so we're definitely flatter than yesterday, which is good. Um, I sent my check-ins, I'll let you know when I get a response. But right now I'm making chicken. Today I'm chopping it up. This is about five pounds. Um, yeah, two bodybuilders. Because I don't know if I've even really prefaced this. I feel like if you follow me on YouTube, you kind of already know. But I live with my boyfriend. He also competes. Um, he does bodybuilding as well in men's physique. So he's on a meal plan 24-7. I'm on a meal plan 24-7 besides our one meal a week. Um, so we eat a lot of chicken and other meats and rice and all that crap. But... Um, yeah, that's five pounds of chicken. So we go to Costco for literally everything. And if you're not going to Costco or like Sam's Club or BJ's or whatever the heck is near you, you're totally missing out because Publix and every other grocery store is so expensive. Like go buy in bulk. Like we get our rice bag in bulk and it's freaking massive for like $25. They have so much stuff there, like our veggies, fruits, like Go to Costco or whatever bulk stores near you. That's probably not gonna last this long though because right now I can't have any protein powder and I was doing protein powder three times a day. So now all of those protein powder meals are like chicken or ground turkey. So we're gonna go through that fast. I was hoping, we ordered one of those like electric plug-in grills because we love grilled chicken. We have grills in our apartment complex, but it's just not like convenient to go all the way downstairs and we gotta buy charcoal. So we were like, let's just get one of those grills. So we ordered one. It's gonna be here tonight, actually. So we'll probably make more chicken tomorrow for like to bring with us. But I wanted to use it today, but unfortunately that's not an option. So I'm gonna pan cook it today to get it all like crispy. Um, Cause I just, we usually bake it and it's not bad, but it's like, I just like, I want grilled chicken, but like stove chicken's like the second best thing. It's nine o'clock right now and I still haven't had like my first meal, which I, my first meal is literally just chicken. So it's not gonna really do much to me. Um, I miss, I will say I miss having like breakfast and like fruits and oatmeal so i'm definitely super excited for all that to come back eventually um because chicken for breakfast or even just a protein shake for breakfast like that's not filling um but yeah right now i'm watching julia renee on my her youtube videos on my phone love her she's a wellness pro her videos are just so fun i love watching her um and i did a little bit of posing practice and yeah, just drinking my water. Waiting to see what coach says. I don't think we're gonna start filling up until probably like Thursday, Friday, probably Thursday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, not very like wowed with my, my physique right now, but that's just because like we're not supposed to be full right now. Definitely not a good idea. But if you're pan cooking your chicken and you want it to be like crispy and get like the seasoning to like meld in there, you gotta get the keys to get the pan really freaking hot. Because if you don't, it will literally like boil the chicken. Josh, my boyfriend, actually taught me how to do this. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm not gonna do all of this chicken though. I'm probably gonna bag some of this up. Um, just because when you cook it on the pan, you can't, you have to have it evenly spread out, which that will not be evenly spread out. They'll be like stacked on top. So yeah, we're going to make some chicken and then I'm going to eat. Um, actually I have asparagus with this meal. So I have some 50 grams of asparagus and chicken. I don't need to brag. Um, uh, so bad. And then... Um, I'm gonna have my cold brew too. Just freaking black though. It's like really hard for me to drink if I'm being honest because like I wasn't having cream before but at least before I was able to have like stevia. Um, so 
yeah, I'm gonna make this chicken. So this is what I mean. Like it's like seared almost, like pan seared. I don't know, you can see it. I don't know, really good, but I'm gonna eat that. But that's like good chicken there. Like I said, let it heat up really hot. Put the chicken on there, let it sit um, evenly spread out. Then put the seasoning on it, then start to mix it. It turns out great. So coach answered, we are, I guess we're starting to fill up. I don't know, man, but um, I don't know what we're doing. We, he increased my food, so it was 280 rice four times a day on top of my base diet. Now it's 300 grams on top of my base diet four times a day. Um, and then 10 grams of coconut oil with four of my meals, which yesterday he cut out the oil. So I don't know. Um, my guess is we're starting to fill out, but I don't really know. I'm just going with the flow here. But I'm excited to have my fats back because your girl is a fat fiend. Um, I was just outside doing some journaling and some Bible studying and she's still really good. Um, I'm meeting a friend at 11 to get my nails done. So I'm, I think I'm going to eat before, even though it's only like 1030. Just because I don't really want to eat at the salon. I want to enjoy the meal. So we're going to eat it here, I think. So this meal is going to be 380 grams of rice. 100 grams of protein, probably chicken or ground turkey, um, then 10 grams of coconut oil, and then 50 grams of asparagus. So we're gonna make that, but yeah. So I just got my nails done, and oh my gosh, I haven't gotten acrylics done in so freaking long. I just got, um, I just got white French tips, cause like, you gotta be, neutral on stage but they look so pretty i did the dip powder and she did such a good job and then i just got white on my toes but you guys with a tip 125 dollars for both that's not bad at all i used to pay literally like 70 dollars for a full set when i used to get my nails done like religiously um i'm gonna stop at home first and then I am going to get my eyebrows done. I was going to go straight to get my eyebrows done, but I'm kind of hungry. So I think I'm going to eat, then get my eyebrows done. But yeah, that's the update. It was fun catching up with my friend. Uh, but yeah. So I just got my eyebrows done. Um, I went home and had my favorite meal in between sweet potato, chicken, almond butter, and cinnamon. No stevia, because you can't have stevia. But this actually like didn't hurt as much as it usually does. So that was super good. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling really good, good energy. Um, hunger's like basically non-existent. Like it's still existent, but like not that bad because we're eating so much. But yeah, I'm just in awe though because there, you guys are like DMing me on Instagram saying that you watch my videos and it's just kind of like super cool because like obviously I make these videos and I'm talking to the camera but like I don't actually think about like people actually watching them besides like me and my boyfriend or whatever because like there's actually people watching these every week and that's just so crazy to me like people are I don't know so if you're watching every week or even just tuning into just this video like I just appreciate it a lot because I put a lot of effort into these videos and I have fun filming them but it's just crazy to like think that there's actually people behind the camera if that makes sense I don't know but uh, I'm gonna eat probably in another six o'clock and then go do my workout today's back and biceps um, I'm gonna show you guys the grill and stuff from from Amazon because I think it came I don't know yet, but I'll show you guys that later because I'm super excited But yeah, I am feeling vascular as a freaking the Hulk. It's crazy because it's 93 out in Florida right now, so I'm loving the nails though. It's so nice to like scratch <laughs> uh, But yeah, that's my update I'm just feeling super on top of the world and happy today and I just it's crazy how much support I actually do have like you don't I don't really think about it until like I'm getting all of your guys's messages and I just so appreciate it 
um, even if you're just a silent watcher, but yeah. So we got a little mini scale too. I saw Laura Lee in a vlog and she had this when she was at like the Arnold's. It like folds like that and then it like opens instead of just bringing my scale everywhere all the time. I don't know. Probably unnecessary, but I thought it was cute. And then we got a hot plate. Um, just for convenience. Cooking. And then this was on sale. This grill. I'm so excited about this. I love grilled chicken. Grilled chicken's so good. And as I was saying earlier, the grills are just... It's not convenient to go downstairs and, you know, do all that. And so we got a, a plug-in electric grill, which will be yummy. So yeah. So I trained back and biceps, ate my food, came back, showered, washed my hair. And now it's 10.20 and I'm going to eat my last meal, which is just chicken. And tomorrow we send check-ins every three hours, along with Friday. Tomorrow will be two days out. Um, but this is going to end this first part of my peak week vlog. I hope you enjoyed the, the first part. And I will see you guys. I'll leave my Instagram below if you want to follow that to see more stuff in real time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe because you don't want to miss part two. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all of my links below. I will see you guys in part two. Peace.